Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video. And in today's Minecraft video, we will be showing you how to download a Minecraft map from uh, extromniastudios.com and how to put the map that you downloaded into the Minecraft saves folder. So let's get right into it. For demonstration, these are the two files that we'll be using. But since we're going to show you how to download the map, we're going to delete them. So let's delete that. So how do you download the Minecraft map? Well, it's quite simple. First, you go to your favorite browser of choosing. For me, I'm going to go to Edge. Um, you can go to whatever you want. So maybe Google Chrome. So in the search engine, type in Minecraft maps to download, or you can just type in your, your favorite, you know, map website to download a Minecraft map. Okay. So we're gonna go to Planet Minecraft. My favorite website, I like using this. So over here, you have a search bar and you have a map category. So you can go into the search area or you can go to the maps. So I'm gonna to go to the maps first, click on that. And once the Minecraft maps thing has loaded, you have a great selection of many maps over here, many different creators. So lots of different flavors of builds here and different skill levels, as you can see, all very nice maps. And let's say you want to look for a specific map and not just an image and probably some that's not downloaded and you must make sure that it does show download so it is downloadable okay there is no download sign like here it's just an image so I'll be aware of that so make sure it's on maps and go to categories so let's say we want a challenge and adventure map so click on that and once it has loaded and you can go to maybe your options so what do you want you want downloadable for us yes you do want a downloadable map that's gonna filter it again and most of them are the same and it has removed some maps that are not downloadable. And you can just put any edition or you can put specific editions. So for us, in this video, we're gonna do Java. Let's go to Java. And then you can scroll down, find whatever map you like. There's a lot to choose from, obviously. And you're scrolling, 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 and you're still looking for a map. And over here, as you saw, there is an all time thing, but that's not really necessary. It only lets you choose when it was released. So. It depends what your flavor is, but we're just going to do the old fashioned scrolling down thing. So let's say that you've gotten all your filters in place and you want to find a map that you're looking for. So let's scroll down and let's find our map. And over here is the one by Extraordinary Studios, which is us and 530 downloads. Not too bad. How is the one up here doing? Yeah, so we're kind of high in the downloads area, which is very good for us. So click on the map that you want to download. And for us, we don't use Mediafire and we do not use Google Drive. We instead use um, our separate download link. So that's to our own website. And over here, you can browse the images if you prefer it that way. You can see we do have images and different creators will show different images of the base. And you can see this is image of our base. So you can click download and it will give you a pop-up saying that you will be brought to a third party website and this website will be this. So maybe for a different creator, it could be different. So Mediafire, Google Drive, but for us, we're using our very own website. So when you click continue, this is gonna open a new window and it's gonna redirect you straight into the product page of this map. And again, different creators have different um, ways of posting their content. So it could be Mediafire, Google Drive, but it's mostly very similar in Mediafire. It jumps you to a new tab and you just click download and it'll start downloading over here. Ours is the same but it takes a little bit more steps because it is a secure download and it, and it also makes sure that whoever is downloading our files is actually a real person and not a robot so you're gonna have to put in your email to be verified and all that. So on our website click the add to cart button and you don't have to be signed in for this and in the add to cart button as you can see over here it shows you the price but it is it is free so it's gonna show a zero so you know you can put any amount as you want it really doesn't matter which we'll is just leave it at one and click view cart. And once the cart has loaded, you can then uh, have an overview of how many downloads you've got all at once. Now this is actually better in a way than Mediafire because you can have all your downloads in one section. And you can even add a note. So since it's going to be Christmas, you could probably tell us that. Hey, um, could, could you guys uh, add, add a Christmas tree to the And oh, it's Christmas tree, huh? 
And then, you know, it could be any message. This is not necessary, but if you want to, you can put that there. And make sure this box is ticked to the green tick button. Then click the checkout. And this should bring you to another tab. So that is three step. Now, promo code not necessary because there is no price. Now, email. This is completely mandatory. As you can see, there's an asterisk mark right there. And that means that you have to put in your email. You cannot skip this step. As you can see, if I try to skip the step and just put in my first name and then I click continue, it's going to give me a warning that you didn't put your last name and you did not put a valid email. So you need to put in your valid name. For me, I'm just going to call this one Xtrom Studios. Now you can put anything you like. So you can, your, you can just put your own name, you can put it that way. And then you can put in a valid email. So for me, I'm going to put in the company's email. Okay. Oh yeah. Make sure that you have the F sign as well. A phone number is not mandatory, so you don't need to put that in. Once you're ready, click continue. This should then have a big tick saying, oh yes, you've your details are verified and then make sure that these are that this button here especially is ticked if that is not ticked you cannot place an order as you can see if i try to click nothing's gonna happen you need to make sure they've confirmed to the terms privacy policy and return policy you don't have to have that ticked so you don't need to have this um ticked if you don't want to be signed up but if you want to be notified about special events and special products new uh, world releases betas any of that new videos yes you can leave that on We'll only email you once a week once a month anyway and do that you can have options if you sign up you can change how you send your emails notifications all that you can place your order now once that has loaded it will bring you to a receipt page as you can see now it is loading and there you are it's going to say thank you and your name will be here and it says that you will receive an email confirmation soon this is why you need a valid email so it can send you the download link just in case this does not work and then over here it just says download to so click download and once it's done, just wait until the file is completed downloading. And it shouldn't take long. And we'll be right back when this has finished downloading. And once your file has completed downloading, go to the three buttons on the side and then click show in folder. And in your download folder, you should see one big file over here that says the Minecraft survival world. And it is very simple to do. All you have to do is snap to one side and drag it and drop to the desktop then just extract the file so you can put extract all and you can leave this button ticked if you like if it's, it's usually ticked by default so we can leave that tick by default and it should not take long it depends whether you have a hard drive or ssd this computer has an ssd and what i like to do is just move this right next to it so it looks a little bit more nicer right now snap that and this so now you got these two areas so what you want to do now is take a look at this one and check if everything is there and um, these are not the world files and this is just instruction the world file is clearly labeled as being world so double click on the world file and right over here is the world file now if you need to you can always double check so double click that and if it has a level dot that file and the advancements data dim the dim and player data all those things and this is the correct file okay so click back and all you have to do now is on your keyboard press the windows key and r at the same time and then this will bring up the run dialog box so what you want to do is go to percent app data percent and once you're ready click ok now this should bring up another window and this window should be app data then roaming go to dot minecraft in the dot minecraft area go to the saves folder and what you want to do now is snap this to the side and easily just drop it in there and it should just move in and it shouldn't say anything but if you do already have a world or you're updating the world just replace but usually it shouldn't say anything it should just move it without any trouble and you can always double check see if it is working so you can just go inside minecraft and you can check if the world is there and that it is fully loaded and once when the world has fully loaded as you can see I'm check if everything is there so if all the stuff are there and if it is as it is then you've successfully downloaded the minecraft map and if there's no errors while loading the map then you've successfully downloaded the map and nothing is wrong with it so thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you found this tutorial helpful, you can just leave a comment down below. Or if you have any suggestions, you can also leave it down in the comments. And actually, yes, you should like the video if you did like it, by the way. And I will see you in the next one.
you guys. Peace out.